Hey, 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 Gemini, this is your sacred scribe here ready to do your Wednesday, January 20th to the 21st, Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for my Geminians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you guys today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Gemini, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys. And hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, Gemini, I'm going to get a channel to message for you in just one moment. But first, there's Tarot. Six of Swords. The Queen of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles. Let's see. The Chariot. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles. All right, let's see what Spirit has for you, Gemini. Push forward with all that energy of yours, Gemini. Channel this energy into things that are productive Otherwise, they will end up scattered in your mind. Focus is needed. Allow ideas to flow through you, Gemini. Stay still long enough to listen. There will be a lot of them. You're going to get quite excited about some of these ideas, Gemini. So aim to be productive in pursuit of them. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Alrighty, Gemini, Gemini. There's a lot of energy I'm feeling for you guys, man. All right. Um, Some of you Geminis are moving away from a love that could have been toxic, actually. It could have been a codependent relationship here. And I feel like you've made peace with that. Now, this could have been a past event. This could be happening now. Some of you could have actually moved or will be moving because of an opportunity. Let's see. Five by the six of swords. What is this? What did you go away from? What did you move from? Two of wands. Knight of wands. Yeah, three of swords, see? So somebody was a player in this scenario here. So you made a choice to move away. And so you did. And I feel like um, it's, it's like you're finally at peace. And it doesn't matter for some of you. This could have even been like two years ago. Um, even longer if you still haven't come to terms with, with some of the happenings within this relationship. But I do feel that this was toxic and it was a good idea for you to get out of it. What is this Queen of Cups? Ooh, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Ten of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. This could have been an emperor or an empress that you were dealing with here. But I feel again with the Ten of Swords, you're letting this shit go. And you're coming out, you're making peace, but you're going slow. I feel like when it comes to love, you're taking things slow. 
I feel like you want love, Gemini, um, but a lot of you are focused on your money, your foundation, your career. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. What is this opportunity coming to Gemini? Five of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Queen of Swords. Hmm. It's possible, Gemini. I'm not sure where you saw an opening to finally let this go, but it's like something happened and it sort of opened your eyes to this situation, this past situation. It could have been because you weren't seeing something. And I feel something happened in your life that gave you sort of a new set of eyes, a new perspective. So you cut out feelings of lack, lack of love, lack of money, okay? Something came along. I don't know what it was. I don't, because it's not being specific. It's just that an opportunity came along for you to realize what was going on here, the toxicity of this relationship, and finally let it go and cut out the things that no longer serve you within you. Where are you going, Gemini, with the chariot? Four of Cups. Be, care be careful you're not missing uh, love offers here. Ten of Wands. Okay, some of you are moving because of work. This could have been that opportunity. Strength, yeah. So this is, I'm going to see if anybody is coming towards you because this is all about um, somebody who finally let go of the remnants of a relationship that was clearly toxic and let go of any of the feelings that were not serving you, opening your eyes to what you needed to see, that aha moment. And that aha moment, Gemini, I feel like empowered you. You're very much empowered. And this is where this strength card is coming from. So I feel like you moved, but be careful. I feel like you, somebody wants to make you an offer here. And I feel like this is the love offer, but you're not seeing it. I mean, understandable. Let's see. Five of Cups. Yeah. It's it's like you're you're in mourning, right, of the toxicity of the past relationship. King of Wands. Mm. You know what you're trying to do here, Gemini? This is so interesting. It's not giving me new. Um, you're trying to look at the shadow side of this relationship w that you played and cut this codependent feeling, cut the toxicity, learning from it, so you can go forward in a healthier manner in another relationship here, okay? Because this is this is you I'm feeling with this King of Wands wanting to push forward in a new relationship because you've got a lot of passionate build up within you. Um, you're trying to center yourself here, but there is some sadness and regrets from the past here. All right, who's coming in new after Gemini finally lets go of this? Six of Pentacles. There's a couple of people coming, Gemini. There's more than one. Four of Pentacles. Oh, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Eight of Cups. Eight of Wands. Let me get a couple of cards here. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Gemini, you're going to have a couple of people uh, coming towards you. Some may be from a distance. Some you may meet when you move, okay? Um, potential happiness with at least one of them. Be careful, though, because I feel like some of these people are just not going to want to let you go. And I and I feel in the beginning you're going to be just dating. Um, clarify this four of pentacles. Who is this? Yeah, see, this could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces here with the Knight of Cups. So just be careful. Um, it doesn't become like stalkerish or just creepy. 
I want to warn you of that. Keep it, you know, go with your intuition here as far as that is concerned. Hmm. You're going to be coming into contact with people who you're going to have some sort of commonality as far as uh, your healing processes. Um, you're really going to hit it off. I see, you know, what they're showing me Gemini is you having a conversation with somebody about walking away, about the moment that you walked away and that decision that you made to walk away. And I feel like they had a similar situation. Possibly they were on the other end of it where somebody else walked away or it's the same. But they're showing me a conversation that you're having initially pretty quickly. I don't know what brings up that conversation, but it it's sort of, um, hmm, I don't know. It piques your interest and it piques theirs. All right, your advice for Gemini with these new peeps coming in. Nah, know your worth, stand in your power with the Nine of Pentacles. And I feel like you're clearing a lot of debris here. Gemini, Princess of Cups, and open up your hearts. Doesn't have to be huge right now, but open it up enough, okay? Stand in your power, Gemini. Know your worth. Focus on your abundance. Make you first, okay? That's what I'm hearing with that. Make you first. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Magician. There you are. Spirit is telling you that you can manifest anything you desire. You have everything in front of you to do just that. So what is it that you want? You're going to have suitors here. Um, ones that won't want to let you go. Like if you make a choice. But you're going to have plenty of suitors. Advice for Gemini. Give back. Today is the day to cast aside normal routines and make your main purpose to serve. It's all about giving back without any thoughts or expectation of getting anything in return. Reach out and touch other people's spirits as it's highly likely that someone really needs it today. You know, Gemini, sometimes it's just a smile. Not that we can smile wherever we go right now, but if you're in the park and you see somebody, smile. Something as simple as that. And I feel like this is going to add to your empowerment, Gemini. That's what I'm feeling. Okay? Knowing that you can make a difference in somebody's life with the smallest act of kindness. So keep that in mind. All right, Gemini, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. You have a great day, Gemini, and I will catch you on the flip side tomorrow on The Dailies. Namaste.